Ah, I just wanted to take a couple seconds to make this quick automotive video. Um, I don't really... So in today's day and age, if it's not about Supras, if it's not about RX-7s, if it's not about Skylines, if it's not about all the supercars and, you know, all the popular cars, it, it's almost like it doesn't matter, you know? And I've noticed a kind of trend where it's like people won't even go to car meets anymore because either, you know, the cars are super lame or, you know, the cars are super cool. And, you know, after five minutes, you're ready to go. And I felt that plenty of times. Like, all right, I've seen everything here once or twice before. I've walked through. All right, I'm ready to go. But the thing that makes car culture car culture, yes, it's the cars. It's more so the people. The people make car culture. We share this, this, this common interest in cars. But it's the people that keep us together. And for my car club, Midnight Runners, I don't really care too much on what car you drive, what mods you have. I mean, some of them are more cringeworthy than others, I'm going to be honest. But, you know, I've been there. You know, I've done some cringeworthy things on my car. I've been there. I've done that on plenty of my cars. And each car that I do, each build that I do, I get a little bit smarter. I get a little bit wiser. I know what's going to work, what's not going to work, what I like, what I don't like. And it's more so about the spirit. As long as you're in it for the cars and you genuinely like cars and you're willing to meet other people and learn and respect all builds, that's what matters. Not, you know, spending 8K on a paint job, 10K on rims and, you know, who's got the best build, who's... You know, nowadays it's all about competition. You know, who's got the lowest car? Who's got, you know, the fastest car? This, that, and the other. And back in the day, it was just about bringing what you have and showing it off. You know, having pride in what you got. And, you know, meeting up with other people and seeing what they have. Not to compete, but just to have fun and see what other people have to offer. You know, see what else is out there, you know. And I think we've gotten away from that a little bit, you know. And... I think a lot, honestly, to do with this is social media. Social media has changed the game entirely. It's crazy how big this shift is. And even me, myself, nowadays, I find it hard to have conversations with people. Because it's like, I want to say something, but it's like, I don't know if someone's going to get offended by you know me saying that or, you know, whatever. So, I definitely want to go ahead and put this out there and say respect all builds, no matter what it is. If someone just cares about doing stickers to their car, that person at least cares enough to do something to their car. Versus the person that goes out and buys a 2022 Corolla and does nothing to it but just drive it and takes absolute horrible care of it, you know. And I think that's where we need to split the divide at. You know, if, if someone's willing to put even a little bit of work into their car, no matter how small it is, it shows they, they, they look at it as more than a machine for transportation. They look at it as therapy. They look at it as a friend. They look at it as a hobby, as something to do. So to that, I say respect all builds, man, all the way, 100%.